Hello everyone, Mzar here. Today video I will cover build for Hunter. This type of Hunter was most hated build in Ragnarok Online. In War of Empyrium, this build really helped Guildmate to demolish the enemies. This status bow or negative status effect is very useful even in PvM. Not recommended for MVP since all boss monster are immune to status effect. For this build you might need multiple status effect arrow as well. Since, we only able to equip max 4 card in the bow. This guide completely free to play build but certain item are really hard to get but possible. This build are recommended for those are enjoying making their opponents suffer before they met their ancestor. Early leveling we headed to Payon Cave, the most easiest way to gain level faster. This area crowded with skeletons and zombies. With free bow we had and refine it to plus 7. Get at least level 30 in here. In this dungeon also you can farm your early zini to funding your arrow and bow. With Zenny I get, purchase Gakung Bao. Gakung required level 33 to able to equip it. With this bow, I venture into Payon Cave level 2. Grinding a little bit level in here and get at least level 40. For stats build I going to focus on agility. My target to get high ASPD possible. More ASPD you had the more chance will trigger the effect of status. outside ice dungeon. Most of plant immovable monster are live outside ice dungeon cave. This spot is the best for range class to push job level to 50. If your server available ice dungeon, this is where you go. If not, can use Uno Field Euro 8 for geographers. Firstly, after change into Hunter, it's time to farm our main bow. Composite bow 4 slot drop from Goblin Archer. Farm as many possible, we need at least plus 9 or plus 10 much better. Get multiples bow since we would need to have total 10 status ailments effect. Now we gather all cards for status ailments. First snake card, plus 5 attack and 5% chance to poison the target. Effect of poison, reduce soft defend by 25%, Lose 1.5% of max HP and SP regeneration is disabled. Second card on the list is Savage Baby card. 5% to stun the target. When you got stun, all flee will be negated and any movement will be disabled for duration of the stun. Third card is Requiem card. 5% chance to inflict Chaos Effect to target. Chaos Effect causes the character to move into unintended directions when trying to navigate. This effect very useful when used in War of Imperium. Also this is good time to gather Panty from Zero. Going to try slot a Panty and Undershirt for endgame equipment. Undershirt can be farm at Pasana at Sphinx level 3, level 4, and level 5. Final piece of the card is Plankton card, plus 5 attack and causing target to enter sleep status. While on sleep, always get hit and after hit, the sleep effect is cancel. Also, critical rate increase by 2 times on target that under sleep effect. After grinding Xenia in level, time has come for attempting to slot undershirt and panty. Each attempt will cost you 1 million Zini and 1 Alunium. Only got success rate of 5%. May Lady of Luck be with us. Now everything is set. It's to review equipment I had at the moment. Firstly, status ailments arrow. Cursed arrow can be crafted by amulet. Drop from Munak and Bongun. Poison arrow can be crafted by green bijou. 
two set of status ailments bow. First set with familiar card, meddler card, magnolia card, and marina card. Second set contains snake card, savage baby card, requiem card, and plankton card. For headgear, I'm using apple of archer and binoculars for extra dexterity. Panty has thief bug card for extra aji, undershirt bafflement junior card, boots with matir card, and two brooch with kukre card. With loyal pet green petite will increase my ASPD. This concluded my full agility build of Hunter. Getting some luck will increase chances bird attack. With this status ailments build, you able to push your enemies into multiples negatives effect. Almost all negative effect can be cured by panacea or status recovery from priest. But in this case, the ASPD you had plus chances to triggers the status ailments, your opponents likely will finish their panacea before able to land hit on you. Some base stats also could reduce status ailments effect example. High vitality will reduce chance being stun and duration of stuns. Conclusion. This build can be much more better when becoming sniper. Extra ASPD from True Sight would boost up to 189 or 190 ASPD. This can make Sniper very troublesome to deal with. Status ailments also can be used by Assassin Dual Dagger or Specialty Jure, whichever can boost ASPD. Thanks for now. See ya in next video. Subscribe for more content of Ragnarok Online. Cheers Midguardians.